What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we are going to pretty much redo what a lot of people have complained about, and that is our, I guess you could say, guide on how to make your first E5 hero. Uh, a lot of that original video was actually talking about what you should and shouldn't do, and not the actual process of building your first E5 hero, and I've had a lot of people asking, newer players asking, how do I make it, especially because the gate of the void is out, and of course you need an E5 hero. So what does it take, what type of resources, and how do you build the E5 hero? That's what we're going to show you today, so let's jump into it. So yes, the big question on a lot of new players' minds are how do I actually build my first E5 hero? Because uh, this big old place right here that says Gate of the Void with all these extra things that you can't see just yet, it says you need to have an E5 hero first. And how do we actually go about creating all of these E5 heroes from basically these five-star heroes that we have in the bag? So we're going to go through the process because we're actually going to build one of our heroes right now. Uh, now, we're going to feed off some heroes normal players should not do, like a Horus, but just be warned, we're doing this for the sake of the process. So, the man that we are going to be bringing up to level E5 is going to be Rogan. So, first things first, you need to take your 5-star Rogan and turn him into a 6-star. How do you do that? You need two copies of the hero, plus four any other 5-star any other hero of that same faction. Use them together and that will give you your first six star hero right here. Once you do that, you are going to have to make a few more of those. So beyond just your, your actual hero you're building, you're gonna need three other six star heroes just at level one. They don't have to have any type of level on them. Just level one, you have to do that four times because in total to make a 10 star, you're gonna need four of these and you'll see that along the way here. So we're gonna jump into Rogan, the first thing to bring a six star up to any higher level to a seven star, you're going to have to make sure they are leveled to level 100. So that is going to cost gold, it's going to cost uh, spirit, and especially promotion stone. So a lot of the new accounts, uh, they they get funneled by this promotion stone resource. Uh, it it, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks at times, but it's not too bad when you get further in the game. You get a lot more ways to buy it. You can buy it from the marketplace. There's lots of ways to get more promotion stones. Even event raids give them as well. So we are going to get to level 100. We are going to evolve. And now we can just hold at 100. You don't even have to level them higher than that. But you're going to come to uh, the star right here. And you're going to go to the hero awakening. Each time you level up a hero to a new star, an ability is going to get buffed. But what you are then going to do is use four more five star heroes. Um, Typically, I try to say, you know, use these food style heroes down here. Don't use the don't use the elite hero copies. Use the very food s type heroes. And again, it's going to take promotion stones to awaken them to seven star. We're going to go again. This time it only takes three heroes. So we're going to come down here and grab a few more. This is where you're going to need your first other six star hero. It can be a puppet. It can be an actual hero. It does not really matter as long as it's six star. And that brings us up to an eight star Rogan. After that, we're going to need our next copy of Rogan to make a nine star. So yes, this is going to be the third copy you are going to need. Grab another six star. And then the last two five stars we are going to have to pick right here brings him up to nine star. And now this is the big one. This is the one that takes a lot. You're going to need two more Rogan copies, bringing the total now up to five of the hero you want to build. You then need another six star. And finally, you need another food hero that is at nine star. So the process we just did to make this nine star, you're going to need to do that in an, for another hero. In this case, we did a field because you're going to have to feed a nine star to him. This is where it starts to get exponentially uh, more costly as you level up your hero further and further. And then once you are at 10 star, you will unlock the hero enabling tree. So each one of these nodes is going to take uh, another copy. Well, most of these nodes are going to take another copy. It's going to take either a nine or a 10 star. But um, this is pretty much where the game originally came out. 10 star was the max. Hero enabling was then the addition as the time went on in the game. So first things first, you then have to come into this node here. 
you'll notice you need another nine star to make your e1 e is enabled hero enabling e1 you'll hear us talk about it a lot and of course you're gonna have to grab another copy of rogan once you get that enabled done you will unlock the next one again you're gonna repeat this process grab another nine star grab another copy of rogan and enable up to e2 so the E3 enable was essentially the top you could get to in the second iteration. Uh, there were no enables past E3. That is why in this one, all it's going to request you to do is grab a 10 star hero. So all it takes is a 10 star. You do not need a copy for E3. But once you do that, you get the third enable done. Come on over to here. Grab another 10 star. Grab your eighth copy of your hero. Hit that enable button once again. And you're going to be E4. Now, I made the mistake, and I actually have one of my heroes I'm using as food in IDA. So we're going to take him out of that right there. And we are going to come right back into our E4 Rogan. We're going to come on over to the enabling here. Click on the E5 enable. Grab that last 10-star hero. Grab that ninth copy of Rogan and then hit that enable button. And there you go. Multiple things will happen once you get to E5. You will be able to get to the imprint tree if, if they have it. Not every E5 hero in the game right now has it. It's mainly the newer heroes. But that will essentially give you your full E5 hero. You'll be able to pick what type of enables you want to run on him. Whether it's Purify, Resilience, Unbending Will is going to be one of the best ones you can pick for E5. But that is how you take the time to build an E5. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the resources it's actually going to take to max out your E5 hero. Lastly, I do want to go over what the cost is beyond just the food heroes that I just showed you how to build up to an E5 hero, but actually maximizing their level as well. This infographic right over here is made by Ibex. He's been doing some really, really awesome infographics on the Reddit subreddit. So uh, yeah, big shout out to Ibex. This thing is absolutely amazing. So what you'll see here in the left column is the actual cost it takes for each stage. What you'll see in the very far right column is the running grand total of resources required. So you will see down at E5, the cost to get to level 330 E5 is going to cost you almost 93,000 promotion stones, 650-ish spirit, and about 265 million gold. So... That's a lot of resources, especially those promotion stones, because that is it's, it's, it's a lot. It definitely is a lot, especially when you can only buy small amounts at a time. You can buy a bunch of them in Aspen Dungeon every time it opens. That's one of the best ways to get it. But then the last thing is if you really want to maximize and level up your E5 hero to the very max, it depends on what difficulty you have beaten in aspen dungeon so aspen dungeon if you beat difficult you'll be able to level up to 335 if you beat nightmare 340 if you beat hell you can get to 345 and then if you can finally beat death 100 you'll be able to be up there with the big dogs at level 350 and you will see the running total increases a ton so just to go from level 330 up to 350 per hero, that's gonna be roughly 280-ish million spirit and an increase of uh, about 100 million gold, right in that ballpark. It's not, it's not exactly, I'm doing a lot of rounding here, but the one nice thing leveling up the hero past 330 is that it does not require any promotion stone. So use this infographic. I will actually put a link in the description to the original post on Reddit as well. So you can guys can go on over there and give a like for Ibex as well, because he does some really amazing work. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more of a clear picture on how to build your first E5 hero. Uh, the last one I spent a lot of time going into who you should and how you should. Again, normally I see people, you know, having a nine star horse and a nine star penny and a nine star Garuda all at the beginning of their account. And that feels bad because you don't want to feed those heroes off. And you just saw how many nine and 10 star food heroes that are not good it takes to level your first hero up to e5 because getting one hero to e5 and having nothing else is the most important thing in the game it'll help you in sea land 
it'll help you in aspen dungeon it'll help you in uh the you know unlocking the void to start getting that realms gate and vortex farming going to start getting the the void resources so it's really really important that you only build one hero at a time even if you have those garuda copies and those penny copies just leave them as five stars and instead build up nine star food heroes in those factions instead and feed them off to your nine star horse to get him to e5 as fast as possible so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully it was a little bit more informative for those new players out there make sure you hit that subscribe button too uh we have tons of giveaways going on so go down in the description and check them out we got hundred dollar giveaways we have account giveaways too if you want to try to jump on an account that's much further in the game definitely hit that subscribe button hopefully you enjoyed this one hopefully it was informative i'll see you guys next time